if you're watching this, you probably know me as the lead singer of By Fire and Sword, or uh, I don't know, maybe you know me from some of the composition work that I do for theater and film, or maybe my band The Green Zoo, but probably By Fire and Sword. Today I'm piecing together some lyrics for a new By Fire and Sword song, one that you'll probably end up hearing on the new release sometime next year. Figured we uh, might document the process, because over the years I, I kind of have a couple of things that I, I do. I mean, nothing is set in stone, but I do have a few things that I do uh, most of the time when I'm approaching any sort of writing project, and that includes lyrics for a song. So I've been listening to the song that we're tackling today for the last couple of days in more earnest. I mean, I'd, I'd listened to everything Jeff has been sending me these past few months as he's been sending me stuff. Um, but uh, I've been honing in specifically the last few days on this song. I listened to it a few times in the shower. I listened to it a few times on walks in the car. When I first heard this music a while back, I kind of freeform wrote some notes. I mean, I had some general ideas about the shape of the album and where the things are going narratively for the reverend and uh, you know some iconography that we have used in the past and some that we'd like to use in the future so uh, keeping all of that in mind uh, i went through and listened to these songs and wrote down some first impressions so you know here are those snakes in the farmhouse using animal control as a metaphor for the enemies of the cause i.e anyone who disagrees with the reverend in any way sure the roof is on fire and the place is collapsing around us but it's our responsibility to hold the line and banish these snakes once again to save your fellow believer from the viper's fangs and then uh, in the last few days i've just kind of been humming along this uh, this melody that it doesn't even really to be honest i've been humming it to a melody that doesn't fit the song uh, but the lyrics I wrote down as I've been humming them. When the snake makes their nest, when the snakes make their nest, you burn the barn to the ground. Don't let them infest Let you, till you, excuse me. When the snakes make their nest, you burn the barn to the ground. Don't let them infest lest you tear it all down. So I have those as a general base for what I'm doing. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a moment and listen to the song through uh, one more time, and then I'm going to start a free write project where basically using these, this stuff as inspiration, I'm just going to put my pen to this notebook's page here, and I uh, am not going to let it touch anything but paper. I'm going to be writing the whole time for at least five minutes. Sometimes I go five to ten. Uh, my hands cramp these days, so I tend to start at five, and if I need more, I do it again. Uh, but first, we're going to give a listen to the song. We'll stop it there. It's actually nice that I have a recording of that first kind of pass through where I'm just kind of, you know, humming and singing along. I don't normally. Um, and sometimes, you know, doing these multiple times, you uh, you miss those first couple of improvisations. I don't know. So thank you for helping facilitate that, Internet. Nice work. Good on you. So I have an idea of what I want the song to sound like. I have an idea of some of the words, some of the iconography, and I'm going to put pen to page for five minutes or so. Wish me luck. Oh no, my pen. Don't die on me, pen. Don't die. Oh no. All right, well, we're like less than halfway through, but I got to pause it to go find another pen. All right, let's, um, we're just going to add another minute, so now that we're at, you know, 4.45, we're going to start it again. Where was I? He's given me power of gods to defend the weak and the <laughs> deformed. Oh. You have to keep an eye on your neighbor. <laughs> see how they, see how they act. Oh. Hand, oh, poor hand, okay. Um... Take torches to the baseboards. And we're at time. Perfect. Yeah, I don't know if uh, if that fits into the rhyme scheme or not, but I like the music of those words, uh, at least towards the end. What was that? Uh, to free these grounds of infestation, a compromised something is a poisoned nation before it ever earned its... Oh, God, what did I write? 
its name or reputation. So anyway, I just, um, you know, riffed, put everything into my head about these couple of things. I blended them together and just kind of, you know, word vomited pages. You can see it here, <laughs> my terrible handwriting, but yeah, just some, some scribbles and notes. The next part is to just like read through this free write and then pull out bits and phrases that, that are powerful, that make sense, that seem to start to build a thing. And I'm gonna sort of patch together my first pass at usually the first verse and the first chorus around that. One thing that's important to me, especially as I'm demoing things, is that all of this is in flux until we do the final recording. Like I never set any of this in stone and that's for my own benefit because um, I'm gonna share with you stuff today that is gonna be imperfect and later down in the process, uh, the fifth, version, the sixth version, the seventh version, I'm going to hopefully have um, ideas and concepts that'll top some of the stuff that I have in here today. So, you know, you're going to hear ideas that aren't perfect. Uh, that's okay. Eyes on your neighbor, eyes of the viper. See how they twist like a fiend in the night. So as I transfer this stuff over, I change stuff slightly. Like one of the things I have here is um, I will take torches to the baseboards to free these grounds of infestation. And then I'm changing it um, to make it just a little more grandiose. Torches to the baseboards to free us all of infestation. So in little ways, I'm going to start, you know, sh shaping the ideas even before. Or, you know, I just i am starting to shape the narrative in little tiny little bitty ways. Compromise compound leads to poison in the nation before it ever earns its name or reputation. Grabby head probably. Who knows? All right, let's sing along with this one more time. See what we get. I know at the beginning, uh, I haven't told Jeff this yet. I really haven't really had this conversation yet, but I want to try and get him to add some screaming. As part of the band's arc, um, you know, I'd like to sort of expand on the things that we do narratively and, you know, just a little bit, you know, texturally and like stuff that we do with the vocals. Like it's really kind of Jeff's call because this is Jeff's baby, but... Um, I'm hoping that he'll start this with some screaming, which I'm not going to do to you because my delicate baby voice can't handle it. Uh, I'm going to whisper instead, which, fun fact for you, is very similar to screaming. Like, the main difference between a whisper and a scream is how much air you're pushing through, but your throat's kind of doing the same thing, which is a fun tip. If you're losing your voice, uh, either talk in a low, you know, low soothing tones or don't talk at all, but don't whisper. Whispering is just as bad for you or almost as bad for you as screaming. I bring tidings from the masters of snakes and angels who bring the power to bring the weak and the poor. When the snake make their nest, you burn the barn to the ground. Don't let that infest unless you tear it all down. When the snakes make their nest, you burn the barn to the ground. Don't let them infest unless you tear Eyes on your neighbor, eyes of the vipers, eyes for the vipers, see how they twist like a fiend in the night, can't let them poison each step up the mountain, you can't let them drag you down, you're so close to the light. Proselytizing. Would go here, I would imagine. Yeah, so that's a you know a quick run through of that, and there was you know a lot of stuff in there that's not usable at all. But there was some kind of interesting stuff towards the the second verse. I might even skip the bad stuff. Probably I'm going to skip the bad stuff for you and just share the second verse. I mean, that's uh, probably the best that I can expect out of. I don't know how long I've been recording this. I wonder if it tells me. Oh, like out of a half an hour's worth of work. Um, I've got a you know a general idea for the chorus that I like, and an idea for one verse. And so what I'll do is I'll continue to do work like that and just keep adding and patching in. I hope that was helpful or interesting. Um, if you'd like to see me do more of the process, I mean, it's 
very similar to that where, you know, I just kind of start big, start with a couple of kind of big goalpost ideas and, and whittle it down. Let me know what you think, if you have any processes that work for you. Um, I use this a lot, and it's nice, especially when you're creating stuff, when you're creating a lot of different content like across different genres. You know, it's a nice kind of general way to just start broad and then work your way in to find something that, you know, makes the best of your sensibilities and interior life, but honors the things that you need to honor to make that particular genre or that particular kind of project work.